Well, she's a former foreign minister known for her political strength, but you're about to see Julie Bishop like you've never seen her before. Your day at Minres starts now. Welcome to Minres HQ. This is a building like no other. It's been designed with your well-being in mind, and I'm here to show you how to unlock all of its incredible benefits. Okay, we have got a lot to get through. Oh, it's you. Hey, Jules, um, listen, my phone is kind of on its last legs. Could you just send me a, a refill of lithium? Is that all right? No problem, Hugh, send me a text. Oh, how good. The video is amazing. The whole thing runs about seven it's minutes. It's like a movie. And it's, um, well, I mean, she kind of upstages Hugh. Hugh Jackman, if I'm perfectly honest. But that is her new role as a strategic advisor for mining company Mineral Resources, and she joins us now live from Perth. Julie, nice to see you this morning. Good hey, morning. Um, we want to get to that video, which is just brilliant, in a moment. But first, we just wanted to check in and see how you are, because, look, it's tough going through a breakup, particularly when it is public. I'm fine, but I'm wondering how you two are doing. <laughs> What's that mean? Should we... I don't, actually, I don't know if we are fine, are we? No, no, I don't want to think about it too much. It's a Monday morning. Just as long as yeah. you're OK. Um, look... Uh, I'm uh, fine. Now, that's yeah. settled. Yeah. Let's go on to yeah. the, um, the The important video. stuff, the important stuff. Hey, um, I, I watched this and I just thought it was um, absolutely fantastic. Um, the, mm. the commitment to production and, and also you upstaging Hugh Jackman. I mean, that's a big mm. decision for you to make. You've made some big ones over the years, but that's a huge one. Well, Russell James, the photographer to the stars, is an absolute joy to work with and he gave us all quite a deal of creative latitude. But Mineral Resources is a great Australian success story. It's a mining services company <laughs> and it has iron ore and lithium operations. But it's taking a whole new approach, very innovative approach to workplace culture. And they've created this new work environment at their headquarters here in Perth that is obviously designed to attract and retain uh, talented and skilled people who are happy and secure and therefore productive. So it's the most beautiful building and it's got a global rating in terms of the environment, you know, light and air and comfort. So it was an absolute joy to do this um, employee induction video with a couple of superstars. I, saw, I noticed you got off a, uh, off a bus. Was that the first time you've been on a bus in a while? <laughs> uh, yes, I believe so. I think, I think the first, first time ever and I loved it. it. It was such an experience. I thought, I'm catching buses from now on. <laughs> I don't know, you also look pretty comfortable when you pulled up in the electric car. Yeah, at least you got out the front of it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the Tesla was pretty cute too. But uh, it, it really is um, a, a marvellous innovation. And what I love about the philosophy behind um, the company's new approach is we're talking about the mining industry. This is a pretty male-dominated industry. And yet this work environment is family-friendly. They've got a gym and yoga room and, and a creche for the kiddies for pre- and post-school and a cafe and trained baristas and restaurants. I mean, it is, it's like nothing I've ever seen before in a workplace environment. Mm. I mean, a huge coup for them to, to get you involved. But also, I mean, how did they get Hugh Jackman? And Kate Walsh is from Grey's Anatomy. She's in this as well. Well, Russell James is the creative genius behind it all and uh, Hugh grew up in Perth and Kate lives in Perth and we're all great friends with Chris and Tia Ellison. Chris is the founder and managing director of Mineral Resources. And once you learned about what the company is seeking to do and the philosophy and the vision and believed in it, then we were all happy to take part. What was his name again? I can't believe that we weren't asked to be part of that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we can. I'm sure, I'm sure there'll, be a follow, there'll be a follow-up video, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we always know the sequel's never as good as the original, typically. Oh, except for The Godfather. Yeah, I that was Godfather good too. Godfather Part 2 yeah, was better yeah, yeah. than Godfather Part 1. And John Part Wick 2 was better than John Wick 1. Mm. Um, and I the new Top Gun, I like it more than the... OK, That's yeah, I take, I take everything back <laughs> that I just said. Have we made the point? Yeah, I, think I think we so. have made the point. But, um, mm. look, a few things going on in Canberra as well. I know you still watch things closely. You would have seen the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, reinstating that um, isolation pandemic leave payment. What did you make of that? 
Well, clearly there's a very strong argument that government-mandated conditions that cause a loss of income should lead to compensation. And I think Prime Minister Albanese is aware that he had to make a decision because while we might be over COVID, COVID clearly isn't over us. And so he had to reconvene National Cabinet. And in the context of the overall budget, it's a payment of about $780 million. And that's, you know, relatively small when you look at the whole COVID costs that have um, have impacted on our budgets but it's to be shared between the federal and state governments but you know let's face it at the end of the day it's all taxpayer money mm. but Prime Minister Albanese was quite right to point out that there are not unlimited government resources mm. to spread around but in this instance I think it was appropriate. I just wish it was yeah. all over that. Hey, listen, uh, it was your birthday yesterday, and uh, can we just sing quickly? Ali's going to mm. sing happy birthday to you uh, <laughs> Which as a special present. Which version would you like? Would you like, you know, the, 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 the kid's Marilyn birthday Monroe. or the Marilyn one? Definitely uh, do the Marilyn. Like, can yeah. you do the chipmunks version? Yeah, go do yeah. it. Even when I don't intend to, I can kind of... <laughs> the floor sort of, is yours. Go. Sort of what it sounds oh. like. <laughs> Off you yeah. go. Um, Happy birthday to you. Is that Chip Monkey? Yeah. Uh, you know. Not quite. No. I think it should be higher. Happy birthday to you. 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 Couple of chipmunks. Happy birthday to you. Bish, we love you. Happy birthday. All the very best from us and Thanks, all of our guys. audience. Thanks, guys. You know she does an amazing headstand in oh, the she? video clip. Yeah, like she's super fit. Yeah. Pretty amazing. I can't believe you just did that on national television. Can There's I. an album coming soon too. Ali's Chipmunks. <sighs> what have I become? What's happened? What have I become? Remember that Johnny Cash song? <laughs> Going very back dark. now, aren't we? It's very dark. Is Let's this keep good it television? Light. Let's keep it light. <laughs>